In this video, we're going to discuss the Windows object and how to do a page redirect. But first, let's talk about the Windows object. Now, previously, we've been talking about, of course, the document object. So what is the difference between the Windows object and the document object? The document object, basically, it comprises our entire web page inside the browser. That is the HTML document. But there may be times that you need to work against the browser window itself. That is all of this stuff outside the HTML document. You may need to do certain things. And that's where the Windows object is very useful. And one of the main reasons JavaScript developers use the Windows object is for page redirects. And we've all done that. You've gone to a page and basically that's not the web page anymore, right? They want to redirect you to a new web page. That is where you can use the Windows object because again, we have to work against the URL that's in this address field inside the browser. So again, you need to use the Windows object in JavaScript to do that. And the good thing is all of the modern browsers support the Windows object in JavaScript. So this is very useful. You can go ahead and change this using the Windows object. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now you can see here, I've got four files in my website folder. This is the index old, which I guess that's not really an original name, but this is the page that our users are first going to come to. And think of this as our old website. So we no longer want to use this. We're going to link to our new web page, which is this web page we were just at, that one I just closed. So this is the new index.html, and this is the old one. And as usual, I will provide all of the code for this lecture. So the new index.html has its accompanying style sheet right here, these two files, and then the index old we'll be using this JavaScript file right here. These two files will go hand in hand. And so we really don't need to update anything in here. We're just going to be linking to this new web page. These are the two ones that we need to be concerned about, the old index.html. So that being said, let's go ahead and close this out. And let's just go ahead and load our old index page here. We'll just load this in Chrome go ahead and minimize this. So you can see here, this is a very basic web page. I guess there's a reason we're linking to that new web page. There's not a lot here. And I just put in some text. The web page has moved to a new site. Please click the button to go to new site. I probably could have worded that a little bit better. Then we have our button here, hit submit for new site. And this is something we've been doing throughout the series. You guys all are aware of how the on click event attribute works now. When we click this button, our function will get executed, which in this case is called change page. So this is all set to go. So what we need to do then is go to our JavaScript code. And basically this is going to be fairly simple. You're gonna see how easy this Windows object is to use. So what we basically need to do now is write some code. And again, it's gonna be a very simple line, but we just need to redirect to our new web page. And again, the object that we use that represents this whole browser window is the Windows object. So you just specify window. That's all you have to do. And then of course we have to use the access modifier, remember to access our properties and methods with this object. And of course we use the dot for that. And the property that we're going to be using is the location property right here. That is what we're going to be using. This is the property that represents the URL itself that's in this little address field. That's what we use to access this. And in this case, we want to alter this URL. So that's the property that we use for changing URLs. So we're just going to go ahead and put in our new web page that we want to redirect to. And in this case, of course, it was index.html, which is in the same web folder. And of course, we need our famous semicolon. And now this should work. Now, I should add that if you want to go ahead and just put in a real world address here, you can. You know, you could put in Google's address right here. Just remember, you need to put in HTTP. You need to start it out with that. But you can also do that if you just want to redirect to a real page out on the web. You can go ahead and certainly do that. So let's go ahead and save this. And we should not have to actually save our index.html. We should just be able to hit the submit button. It should work. Let's see what happens. And it did. Look, it redirected to our new web page. And so that's how the Windows object works. And that's how a page redirect works. Okay, that's going to do it for this video.